we are in crisis. You may feel it or you may, may not. But look at it. Our export is down. Unemployment is up. There will be more difficult time to come. Those who look at America will feel that it's a frightening experience. I can tell you that this is one of the largest crises we've ever seen, even bigger than the Asian financial crisis we gone through 10, 12 years ago in this region. But I can also tell you that, to a large extent, you will feel better than 10, 12 years ago. What we are seeing now is that it's a systemic crisis going around the world in some of the most critical systems of the world. The financial heartland in America, in London, in Europe, and Japan. It will hit us, it had hit us in some time, and it will continue to affect us. But we are lucky that our crisis is not so much systemic. We haven't seen a cold currency whole banking system evaporate overnight. We haven't seen the government run into a problem like what you saw 10, 12 years ago in this region. We have some stress. They're cyclical. We have gone through a probably a more abnormal downturn than a normal cyclical change. But that's about it. The key thing here is that in a crisis, there's always two parties. Who create the crisis most is the one who borrow too much, who overstretch themselves, who live in a house too big for them to afford, who borrow too much money they cannot repay. That's in America, to some extent in Europe. We are on the other side of the formula. We lend them money, we save a lot, we produce a lot, we sell our product, our product to them, to the extent that we even lend money for them to buy it. So when they're in trouble, we're in trouble. Because we have nobody to sell to. And we have no one to lend to. That's not exactly true. If we can produce a product, our customer is not taking it, why can't we take it? In Asia, actually, it is quite a distorted development. We are not the most developed pace. We don't enjoy the best living standard of the world. Yet, we produce more for the developed world than for ourselves. There's a lot more room for us to consume and to improve our life and to invest. So what tells us is that when America is not buying and they are not consuming, we should pick up the snack. That's the way we get out of this crisis. Doesn't mean that we have to overextend ourselves. We always have to be careful, to be prudent. But there's so much saving in our hands. We have to make it for better use going forward. So I can tell you that we will still have bad time ahead. It will be painful. We'll lose more jobs. But we can come out better, faster than most of the others.